simply learn. Your pace, your place. Module 2A, Part 2, Dynamic Use of Macros and Advanced Concepts. Introduction. Hello and welcome to Module 2A, Part 2 of the Financial Modeling course by Simply Learn. This lesson is about the dynamic use of macros and advanced concepts. The dynamic use of macros is a key requirement when undertaking complex financial modeling projects that require interactions between VBA code and spreadsheet data. Through this lesson, we will give the reader the confidence necessary to develop full autonomy in the use of advanced financial functions and the development of own VBA code. Now, let's move on to our agenda. Agenda we will start this presentation by looking at the various elements of VBA coding. The first aspect we will look at is the two main types of groups of VBA code, the functions and the procedures. We will then discuss how to reference spreadsheet data from the VBA code. For example, to use the value of a cell from a given tab in the workbook for some calculations, as well as how to return the result of this calculation in the Excel workbook. One of the important properties of functions and procedures is the feature private or public. We will discuss the differences between these two properties and examples of situations where one is preferred to the other. Our next topic will be the use of modules in order to create VBA projects with a good structure. We will see what modules are used for, how they can be created and organized. We will finish this part with a case study showing one can define new types of objects using VBA code. Our second part will focus on an important aspect of using Excel formulas, breaking circular loops. Circular loops occur when the formula calculated in a specific cell uses the very value of the cell. Given this value is what we are trying to calculate, one sees why this creates a problem. We will learn how to use the formula editor and assess formulas values in order to develop skills to solve circular loops problems quickly and efficiently. Our final topic will be the writing of a comprehensive macro. This can be seen as writing a small program in VBA. We will use a realistic example that will combine most of the important elements of VBA coding and interactions between the VBA code and the data from the Excel tabs and VB forms. This will be achieved through a case study focused on a Monte Carlo simulation. Let's get started with the presentation on 